the stars, Maddie Hayes, David Addison, Agnes DePesto, and Richard Addison. kitchen chairs there, put them next to the bedroom door, and we can hear better. You want me to stop yelling, Alice? You want me to stop yelling? I'll stop yelling. I'll stop yelling. I'm not the one that's yelling. I'm not yelling, Alice. You hear me? Do you hear me, Alice? Of course I hear you, Alice. All my girls hear you. Hi, Ann. Hi, Trixie. Martin? Trixie? What are you doing here? Can't you see we're having a fight? Oh, well, don't mind us. You happy now, Ralph? You woke up Norton and Trixie. Oh, no, you didn't wake us up. We were out for our evening constitutional there. Well, you woke me up. Why are you kids fighting? You want to know why we're fighting? You want to know why we're fighting? I'll tell you why we're fighting. I will tell you why we are fighting. I don't know why we're fighting. You know why we're fighting, Ralph. We're fighting because I asked you a question. Is that such a crime, Ralph, me asking you a question? Get a load of Miss Smarty Pants here. Is that such a crime, Ralph, asking a question? Tell him what the question was, Miss Smarty Pants. All right, I will. I told him I wanted to know where our relationship was going. That's it. You see that? You see that? She wants to know where the relationship is going. She has the unmitigated goal to ask me where the relationship is going. Oh, you want to know where the relationship is going? You want to know where the relationship is going. I'll tell you where it's going. It's going to the moon. <laughs> That's it. You see that? You see that? She wants to know where the relationship is going. She has the unmitigated goal to ask me where the relationship is going. Oh, you want to know where the relationship is going? You want to know where the relationship is going. I'll tell you where it's going. It's going to the moon. Fine, Ralph. You want to be angry, be angry. But I'm not going to stay here and be angry with you. Trixie, mind if I stay at your place tonight? Fine, Alice. Wait a second, wait a second. You think I'm just going to let you waltz out of here like that? You walk out of that door over my dead body. Fine, Ralph. You're right. I can't walk out of here over your dead body. I'd have to fly out. <laughs> Lady. That door over my dead body. Fine, Ralph. You're right. I can't walk out of here over your dead body. I'd have to fly out. <laughs> Ooh, just once. Just once. Pow! Right in the kiss. Looks like you got a real problem here, Ralphie boy. You said it, pal of mine. Where is the relationship going? What kind of question is that? Anybody takes one look around this place, you can see where the relationship's going. Yeah, the Museum of Natural History. <laughs> you got a great place here, Norton. I got a great job. I'm in the fast track. Anybody can see that. Yeah, I know that. I can see that. But maybe that's not what she means. Well, what do you mean, maybe that's not what she means? What do you think she means? I don't know. Maybe all this material wealth you got here ain't the issue. Oh, no? No. Maybe Alice is talking about something that's a little more, uh, spiritual. Spiritual? Yeah. You know, uh... We got a saying in the sewers, Ralphie. Still waters don't necessarily run deep. Why you stop with that? You gotta help me here, Norton. She wants to know where the relationship's going. I don't know where the relationship's going. I don't know what to tell her. Sure you do. Just tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. How am I gonna do that? I don't know what the truth is. I never spend any time thinking about where the relationship's going. Sure you do. Sure you do, Ralphie. Hey, let me show you. You be you. I'll be Alice. What do you mean? Just what I said. You're Ralph. I'm Alice. <laughs> Will you come on? <laughs> oh, you space cadet. Okay, okay, you're Alice on me. Alice, this is where I think the relationship's going. I think it's going forward. I like to think of this relationship like it's a big city bus, a big, big city bus, and I'm the driver, see? I kind of 
sit up there, right in front, kind of steer things. You sitting up front? I'm sitting up front. Yeah, where do I sit? Anywhere you want. Anywhere I want. That's right. Of course, with you sitting up front, that don't leave a lot of room for anybody else to sit. <laughs> well, that's what Alice would say, Ralph. <laughs> You know what it means, Norton? No, come on, don't get mad. You know what it means, Norton? Hey, I'm trying to... Get out! All right, all right, all right. But Alice don't want to hear about the relationship being a bus and you being a driver. Well, then... I don't know what to tell her, Norton. I'm crazy about her. I'm nuts about her. Can't she see that? I mean... There I am, all day long, driving that bus up and down Madison Avenue, women getting on, women getting off, and all I can think of is her. Sometimes, down at the bus station, well, a couple of the boys just start running down their wives. You know what I say to myself? I say, Cramden, you're a lucky man. When the chips are down, Alice is there. When the times are good, Alice is there. You may not believe this, Norton, but sometimes I'm not a real bargain to live with. You Ralph? Yes, I know. It's hard to believe, but it's true. I don't know what I'd do without her. Well, why don't you tell her what you just said there? What do you mean? Yeah, what, what you just said there. That, that was beautiful. What I just said here? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, pal of mine. That is what she wants to hear. Get her down here. Trixie! Yo, Trixie! Send Alice down here a minute, will you? And have her bring some extra Kleenexes there. All right, all right, pal. Forget all about that bus stuff. Just tell her what she wants to hear. I can't send her down, Ed. What do you mean you can't send her down? What do you mean you can't send her down? Tell her I order her to come down here. I want to tell her I love her. Yo, Trixie, tell Alice that's an order. Thank you.